I own a chain of pet stores, and I've decided to build a new one in Lake County. I'm going to use VLOOKUP to help me decide where the best location for that store will be. Let's go to our demographics page. I have here demographic information for 230 zip codes in my area. It spans several counties and a whole bunch of different cities. I have information from each zip code as to how many pet stores are already there, how many cats, dogs, what the size of the household is, median income, a lot of information, all of which is going to help me make my decision. Now, I could go down this column here, go through this data, and every time I see one of my Lake County cities, I can look, oh, okay, this zip code has 13 stores. Let's go, ah, this one only has two. We got to keep scrolling down. This one has a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than I want to do. So what I'm going to do instead is use VLOOKUP to find this number in this first column. And when it finds that number, look across the row and bring back the data from the column that I tell it to. Let's get started. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? All right. I'm looking up this zip code. So we will start with our formulas tab. And we'll see from our function library, VLOOKUP is a function, I have several categories. Well, it's VLOOKUP, so my guess is it's going to be under the Lookup and Reference category. And indeed it is. It's the last one. When I select it, it gives me my function arguments. Now, Lookup Value. Lookup Value is the number I'm trying to find. And that's right here, 60002. Now, I could type that number in here, but you're always better using a cell reference, which I've done. And you'll see it gives me the number. Table Array. Now, the table array is the array of data that you want it to find that number in. So that is on this page. And I'm going to go ahead and select that whole range of A1 to R231. And you'll see here it gives me my header row. It's just reading across there. Zip code, city, county, pet stores. Column index number. Now, column index number is very important. Let's go back here and remind me I have to get rid of the word demographics. Column index number is the column that I wanted to bring data back from. The columns are always numbered. You don't want to list it by A, B, C, D. You don't want the header, zip code, city, county, pet stores, whatever. It's always numbered and it's always one, two, three, four, one being the first column of the array, because that is where the VLOOKUP looks for that value. It even says so here, it looks for value in the leftmost column of that table. So if I'm looking for pet stores, I'm looking for the column index number of one, two, three, you got it, four. Let's get rid of that, put in a number four. Range lookup. Range lookup is very important too. Let's take a look. The range lookup is a logical value to find the closest match in the first column, sort of in ascending order, put in true or omit it, leave it blank. Let's take a look at that. My first column is not listed in ascending order. And I'm not looking for the closest match. I want the exact match. To go ahead and find an exact match, I enter in the word false. So let's go ahead and let's do that. And you'll see it already gives me my answer, 13. And we can look there. We're looking for 60002 on this array. Bring back the data from column 4, 13. Choose OK. That's how easy it is. Now I want to go ahead and do this for the rest, but we have to be careful. Let's go ahead and let's use our autofill to drag it down. And hey, what's going on here? Let's take a look at our formula. Wait a minute, our range is A21 through R251? That's not right. It's supposed to be A1 through R231. What happened? Well, 
when we brought the autofill down, it carried those values down. So what I need to do, and always remember the importance of using your absolute reference. There we go. Now if I go ahead and autofill, I have my answers. And it looks like this city's the winner. Well, what do you say we find out what city that is? Let's go ahead this time. Instead of choosing from our categories, let's go to our insert function, either here or here, from the lookup and reference. Choose VLOOKUP. And of course, you have your categories here, or you can choose from all to select everything on that list. Not HLOOKUP, VLOOKUP. And my lookup value is still the same. My table array, demographics, I'm going to put my absolute reference in here right now. My column index number, where was my city? Let's go ahead and let's find out. City was column two. And false, instead of writing false, I can also put in zero. That gives me the same as false. Choose OK. And I see that my winner is Island Lake. That's VLOOKUP. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.